Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. My name is Sharifa Sofia. So today we are going to present about gravimetry analysis in determining fat content in cheese. And here are our group members. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek about our list of content for today's presentation. Firstly, introduction, then time of gravimetry, precipitation method, theory, apparatus and chemical reagents, methodology, safety and precautions, example of result, data and calculations, conclusion and references. I will explain a little bit about introduction for our topic. Gravimetric analysis is a quantitative laboratory method used to measure the amount of a specific substance by converting it into a solid form followed by isolation, drying, and precise weighing to determine its concentration. This technique is widely applied in various fields such as in industries, it helps assess material quality and purity. In environmental studies, it measures pollutants in water, air, and soil, while in food testing, it is used to analyze components like fat, such as determining the fat content in cheese. Gravimetric analysis is also common in laboratories to analyze minerals and metals through solid formation and weighing for accurate results. In this experiment, gravimetric analysis is used to measure the fat content in cheese, which is important for the cheese texture taste and nutritional value. Accurate fat measurement ensures the product meets food quality standards and labeling requirements. Through this method, fat is extracted, isolated, dried and weighed, allowing for reliable calculation of fat percentage, which supports quality control and consumer safety in the food industry. There are four types of gravimetric analysis. So for the first one is precipitation method, which is we use in determining fat content in cheese. Second, volatilization method. Third, electrogravimetric method. And lastly, thermogravimetric method. Now, let's talk about precipitation method. Precipitation gravimetry is a method used to find out how much of a certain ion is in a solution. It works by adding another substance called the precipitating agent that reacts with iron to form a solid. This solid, called a precipitate, can be separated from the liquid using filtration. After collecting and drying the solid, its mass is measured. Using this mass and a balanced chemical equation, we can calculate how much of the iron was originally in the solution. Now, I will be explaining to you about the gravimetric analysis theory. Gravimetric analysis is a quantitative method used to determine the amount of specific substance in a sample by measuring the mass. Gravimetric analysis by extraction method used to determine the fat content in cheese by separating and weighing the fat content after it has been extracted from solvent using solvent. To do this, suitable organic solvent used to extract fat from cheese sample including chloroform and methanol. This solvent dissolve fats which are non-polar compounds. This method is particularly useful because gravimetric analysis is accurate and direct because it measures actual mass of extracted fat. Percentage of fat in the cheese is calculated based on the mass of fat relative original sample weight. In practical terms, this process involves chopping the cheese, mixing it with the solvent and isolating the fat after the solvent has extracted it. This method is used in food industry for quality control, natural labeling and helps manufacture ensure consistency in fat levels. It is widely used in dairy production and food laboratories to ensure 
the nutritional label is accurate. Here are the apparatus and chemical reagent that we use in this experiment. For the apparatus, we use weighing board, filter funnel, measuring cylinder, 250 ml of beaker, 250 ml of conical flask, petri dish, analytical balance, rotary evaporator, and oven. And for chemical reagent, we use 67 ml of methanol and 134 ml of chloroform. Now, moving on to the method, I will explain the procedure of the experiment. First, 3.5 gram of cheese sample was weighed in a weighing board using an analytical balance and then the cheese sample was transferred into a clean dry 250 ml beaker. Second, 67 ml of methanol and 134 ml of chloroform was added into the beaker containing cheese sample and the mixture was stirred vigorously until the cheese sample dissolved. Third, the mixture was left to rest for 10 minutes to complete the fat extraction process. Next, a filter paper was weighed accurately and was put into a filter funnel. Then, the fat solvent solution was transferred onto the filter funnel carefully. Followed by adding 25 ml of chloroform onto the filter funnel to rinse out the fat solvent solution. After that, the fat solvent solution was transferred to a conical flask and the flask was placed to rotary evaporator to evaporate it in a vacuum at 40 degrees. Lastly, the extracted fat was let dry for 30 minutes in a vacuum oven. The flask containing dried fat was weighed after being cooled in a desiccator. Now, I will talk about the safety and precaution while conducting the experiment. First, wear a safety goggle to prevent chemicals from making contact with ice. Second, make sure that glassware used such as beaker and conical flask is handled carefully to avoid any damage. Third, filter paper that has been used must be appropriately disposed as it is flammable. Lastly, methanol and chloroform must be handled under a well-ventilated area or fume hood as they are toxic and volatile. Next is the example of the result. First is the mass of sample used. It is 3.5 gram. Next is the weight of empty flask which is 50.1 to 5 gram. And the weight of flask and fat is 51.045 gram. And lastly is the extracted fat is 0.920 gram. Now for the data and calculation, first we have to find the mass of extracted fat. We can find the mass of extracted fat by minus the weight of flask and fat with the weight of empty flask, which are 50.1 to 5 gram minus with 51.045 gram and get 0.92 gram. Next, the percentage of fat content can be determined by dividing the mass of extracted fat with the mass of the sample and times with 100, which 0.92 gram divided by 3.5 gram and times with 100. So the fat content is 29.29%. Overall, the conclusion that we get from this experiment is gravimetric analysis is a reliable way to measure the fat content in cheese. The process involves drying the cheese sample, removing the fat using solvent, and then weighing it to find out how much fat is present. This method is important in the food industry for checking product quality, giving accurate nutrition facts, and meeting legal standards. Even though it takes time and effort, it is still one of the most trusted methods for getting precise fat measurement in cheese and other food.